anybody is not going to respond to it this way. God says, those who have faith and confidence in me and who understand my word. You know so many Christians in church don't have to say, have a lot of fear. They don't understand who they are. Amen. They don't understand the word of God. Amen. They are they are nominal. They're referred to as nominal Christians. Mm. And it's the nominal Christians that, that stay confused. Mm. They are just as confused as those individuals who don't know nothing about Christ. Mm. And so that's why God says, hey, if you labor and are heavy laden, if you're fearful, if you're, if, you're, if, if you're burdened, if you're worried, if you're full of anxiety, he says, come to me. Amen. That's the formula. Well, how do, I, how do I not have so much anxiety? How do I have not so much fear? Come to me. Hey, what you want? So, a magic wand? What do you want? A, 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 a formula? Come to me. Then he says, learn of me. Take my yoke up on you. Unyoke from you and all these other folks that you're yoked up with more than you are with me. And I will give you peace and rest, which is the opposite of fear. Fear produces unrest, no peace, anxiety, worryation, and crazy thinking that you think is right. And no good decisions can come out of that. Amen. No good decisions. Ever. Right? So that's why he says that. That's why he says that. Right? And so, now, when we look at Ephesians, when we look at Ephesians, you guys are there? Ephesians 1. I want to go through this thing with you because based upon some of the things that we've said here now, we're going to go through. And the thing, the point we're making here, you, if you're born again, you may be crazy as a bed bug right now, you may be far from, come over there, far from you, where you know you ought to be, but if you're born again, these things apply to those who are born again. Amen. Why? Because when I come in, I come in to Christ, I'm a murderer. Amen. You know, I was a, I was this, this gang this con. Amen. I wasn't, but I'm just saying, right? And so, but when I'm born again, God now says, okay, you are no longer that person. Amen. You are the person that I've already made you. Amen. Even though you are not made that person yet, Amen. I know it's going to be. Yeah. Amen. And so I'm imputing the righteousness through your faith and the blood of Jesus Christ in you right now. Mm -hmm. Bringing you in, just like you're mine, mm -hmm. learn of me. Yoke mm -hmm. up with me. And all these promises will be yours. I can't put them in your hands right now because you are vain. Mm -hmm. You're still steeped in the old way of thinking with the old friends and the old relationships grounded in the yes. old fears, yes. Amen. which are not of me. Fear is not of God. Amen. But I am now going to sanctify, make you, you're holy, now I've got to make you holy. Amen. You're sanctified, now I can make you sanctified. Right? Amen. You are perfected, now I have to perfect you. Mm. And I'm going to mm. treat you just like you are. If you want, just like you, like I'm going to, like the end game, mm -hmm. if you follow me right now. Amen. But if you hold on to your own ways, mm. because once I start talking to you, you know you shouldn't be over there. Amen. 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 You, you know that you're stuck. Amen. You, you, you know that you will have a rebellious heart against me. And because you're learning, but and if you keep doing that, then what I have to do, I cannot send you to hell because you're mine. Amen. I don't send my children to hell. Amen. But I'm gonna chastise you. Amen. Right? And I'm gonna let you have your way. And after a while, your way is gonna bring you low. Amen. Even though you can't lose your salvation. It's oh, like you're starving and you got a food full of table, a, a table full of food. But you can't get to the table. Amen. And everybody else is around there eating. Amen. Amen. You follow what I'm saying? Amen. And that's what happens to a lot of our lives. The Bible says a lot. Lot was a miserable, saved person. Amen. Because he violated Psalm 1-1. Amen. Amen. Yes. He violated it. 
And all of you who don't know who Psalm 1-1 is, and you've been in this church at least three months, Amen. I ain't telling you. Write it down and look at it later on. But 